exciting stuff going on today. Took the new four-wheeler. Wait, what four-wheeler? <gasps> it blends in so well. Oh, that was just a little camo joke for you. Anyways, came out to a bean field here. Uh, beans are kind of tricky about moisture. So as you can see, it's kind of cloudy out today and it's a little bit humid and you usually can't start cutting beans until a little bit later in the day. But dad sent me out to the field to do a little moisture test. So I am just trying to crack the pods right now. So yesterday afternoon it was blowing hot, dry, windy, and these were crumbling apart. But do you see how like squishy that is here? Oh, I don't know. The pods are still pretty soft. That's gonna make them really difficult to cut. So, I don't know, I think we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Maybe after lunch or, I don't know, maybe if a wind picks up, we'll see. Seed corn is such a cool operation to watch, especially when things are moving right along. So that's three pickers in the field. Then that's three tractors that are, attract that are attached to dump carts. And right now there's three trucks waiting in the yard. And everything keeps moving in a circular pattern. It's awesome. So another large part of harvest is the grain system. And this is the boot pit here. Don't drop your phone, Laura. <laughs> That's where all the icky stuff is. So hopefully stuff pumps out. We'll see. I will say this is engineered and designed by my father, your grandpa. We put a well casing down in so it'll let all of the bad water in below the bottom of the pit and put a sump pump in the middle of that. So it should, if there's any water down there. Stand back everyone. So thank you dad, so we don't have to five gallon bucket it out. Exactly. Now this is like one of the stinkiest parts. I mean that literally, oh my goodness, that scared me. Oh, gross. I mean that is, that's disgusting. Oh, that's not bad. That wasn't too much. Mmm, yeah. yum. A little bit of soybean. Rot. Whew. When working on the grain system, ooh, look, there are two very important things to watch out for. One, rats, which are the only thing in the world I fear more than mice. Uh, they like to hang out around grain systems. So watch out for rats. And then also watch out for your head because there is no lack of things to bump them on. Bump it on. Ugh. Because there is no lack of things to hit your head on. They're everywhere. Oh, radio chatter. 510, this is 501. Anyways, so, do you see this? Nasty stuff is gonna come out of that. This is what's attached to our short leg. And we're gonna be wanting to run some grain through the system. But first I gotta clean that out. Um, and you got one more bolt. I see the top of it? Yeah, this is connected. Ooh, you, you brought big boy? I was gentle with it. Yeah. Well, it fits in. Well, it fits that one, but not. Oh. It's alright. Just do it by hand. Ugh, the old fashioned way. Oh my god, oh my god. Is that even the right way to go? I don't even know. Oh, was it? Oh man, that was gonna be hard to get out anyway. Okay. Alright, you just keep doing your thing. I'll okay. do my thing. Radio, uh, zip ties. Oh, didn't bring a zip tie, sorry. I'm holding my breath. Welcome to the, oh my God. I might actually vomit. Welcome to the grossest of farming. 
Oh my gosh, that's really bad. Whew. I bet you guys wish you were me right now. So dad harvested a load last night. So the grain cart is full. So here's kind of the test. Here we go. First dump into the truck of the year. I needed to check the traps. Okay, make sure everything's good. Wise make, decision. I want to make sure they're closed, but then also make sure they all right, here we go. Throttle down, PTO on. Here we go. Slot Here things eight. working. Very slowly. Never push it when yeah. in the season. The slide gate, do you see that little yellow thing sticking up right there? That's how far open you know it is. Here we go, we're running wide open now. Nothing's going on with Throttle that. up a little bit. You're, I think you're dead on here for the truck. You can move that. It really doesn't uh, change the placement too much. No, not really. Kind of cool though. still have that. Option. Now we pull the truck in and test out our green system. I don't want to do too much. It's a test. No. A test. Okay. Now we see if Close everything up, works. Right. Ew. We're waiting for the good stuff to start coming out. here to get clogged. So, so far they're running in well. I just don't want them to get clogged up. Morning everyone. It's Monday and the battery's dead on the tractor. I turned the key past stop to accessory and left it that way for like four days. So, deader than a doornail. So I got the power stroke on the jumper cables hooked up to the starter. So I've never actually jump started one of these newer tractors, so hopefully it goes well. Oh, we have lights. Boom. Nope, not yet. Water set. And she lives! We'll get this unhooked and the first task of the morning is going to move a flipped over pivot. So even though we're done working on pivots, we're still working on pivots. It's in the road ditch and we want to get it out of there before the county tells us we have to get it out of there. So we're going to use the homemade crane. We got it out of the ditch. And you can see this tire is pretty chowed. It's still a good tire, we'll take this off. Probably a good gearbox too. But when it went over it, pulled the dead iron over. But we'll take the tires and gearboxes and center drive off. Um, but the rest of this will probably just get cut up and taken to the junkyard. It's, it's pretty bent up. And it collapsed again. I'm pulling it, dad is pushing it. We're just getting it out of the way of the semi trucks when you go to harvest this field. It is very bent. We got the tractor back. I parked the homemade crane in the weeds over there. And now we're on to the grain cart. So every year we, after we're done, we open this little door to let all the grain out so it doesn't get rotten in the bottom. But can't get the door to go down because there's some corn back in there. Anyway, so I'm just using the come along. Get it to come up. I'm just gonna take it all the way out and clean the corn out. Now I got the grain cart up by the fuel tank, putting some def in, some diesel fuel. We got bulk def that just runs off a 12 volt battery. I guess now we're gonna go pick up some pipes. 
sitting on the tailgate. And that's a wrap on Irrigating 2021. Glad to see it go. Now for Harvest 2021. And we're back in the combine. We're just leaving the yard. We're gonna go try some beans. It's a little cloudy outside. It's not very warm, so they're a little tough yet, but we're hoping they, uh, those are definitely too green, but hoping they dry up a little bit. Driving a 35 foot head down the road is definitely not recommended, but we try to keep our trees and ditches clean so we can uh, just drive around easy during harvest. Combine drivers just plugging away. I'm in the grain cart today. These are some awesome beans. They're about hip high on me and I'm 6'4". And there's four pods, four beans in a pod right at the top on several of these. An excellent field of beans so far. Very pleased. Get a full load of beans. Everything's working really good right now. Look at that. Driving auger wagon for soybeans is kind of boring. It's a lot of waiting. Uh, soybeans are like, I think these are like, probably, I haven't seen the tickets yet. They're probably pushing 80 bushels the acre. So, 80 or a little above. So, it's opposed to corn, which is like 200 plus. Uh, so I just lot less bushels and only one car, two trucks, and just going right to town, which I can see the elevator from here. Just hauling it right to Giltner there. The weather is actually perfect for a fall harvest day. The sun has started to come out. There's a nice breeze blowing now. And it looks like the custom seed corn harvesters are finishing up another one of my fields. They're picking the last pass there and then moving on to that one. I think we're about ready to go out and start harvesting. Dad is going to be in the combine, which means I'm going to be in the grain cart. So I want to do a little clean out before I spend the afternoon in here. Here's the before. And here we go. Here's the after. Maybe you can't see too much of a difference, but it looks and smells much better in here. Time to head out in the green cart. It's kind of cool. So while the seed corn dump carts are dumping over there, I'm hooked up to my green cart. We made it out to the field and dad made one pass, but the yield was super bad. And so we read the manual and we're going to try to adjust some things and see if we can get the combine cleaned out a little bit. This is why you start harvest with the field closest to home, so you can easily go back and get stuff to fix the problems. So how we decided that the yield decrease from last night to today wasn't just like a bad section of beans or bad pass or anything, but we got out behind the combine and looked at all the stuff, like, like garbage that the combine was throwing out and there was just beans everywhere. So something is set wrong on the combine. So there's lots of things in there to adjust. So dad made some adjustments and we're going to keep going and hopefully that cleans out uh, some of the kind of clogged up portions in there. So we're making another pass and I think he'll probably dump into me on this load. Being grain cart driver for beans is a super easy job because it takes a while for the combine to get full. So uh, in my mobile office, so I have my laptop and my purse in case I want to do some online this shopping. Over on this side. Also, another factor is that we planted two varieties of beans, one on this half of the field and the other on this half of the field. And we actually just switched over into one or the other. So there's a pretty high possibility that one variety was a lot wetter or tougher than the other one, maybe not quite ready to come out. So on this pass, Dad said things are working a lot better. So. 
right on the money everybody here we go this is not a drill harvest 2021 has begun <laughs> all right be patient with me this is the first green cart dump of the year so hopefully i remember how to do this do you like one row closer than this All right, so I'm lined up just two rows away. Yeah, I think that's good. Start out there. And then, yeah, I think that's, that's a good spot. All right, so I'm just two rows away from the bean head right now. And now I just make sure that the auger of the combine, which Dad just put out, is right over the green cart. And then I match my speed to his. How fast are you going? going 2.7 right now. Perfect. I'm at 2.8. So we're right lined up with speed. Here we go. In harvest, the combine operator is the big boss. They call all the shots. Everything revolves around them. Grain cart girl or guy, well, everything is always their fault. So if <laughs> the combine spills any grain, somehow it will be the grain cart driver's fault. And our first, well, I guess now this is our second little thing of the year. One of the little sickles broke off. Looks like the bolts just sheared right off. Hammer and bolts. So now we gotta relearn how to replace all these things. We love harvest time. Horseshoes. Okay, so I was just digging around in the dirt and I found it. There it is. So it must've been the bolts that went that went through no, the head? No, I wouldn't have heard that. No? I can hear sickles, but should we reuse it? Mm. Save money? Yikes. Watch your fingers. This is how people lose fingers. So That's right. How the beans are cut, or those sickles move back and forth. Uh, yeah, very sharp, very dangerous. Token of the year. The thing we need to work on is our hand sickles. Come on, like back. Back the other way. Okay, back. Now back. Yeah, back. I don't know what that back. was. But the sickle's in, we're good to go. It only took us like 15 minutes. It should have taken us two and a half, but that's okay. That's okay. Back to work. Well, we have arrived at a standstill. We've stopped four times in the past. I'm a terrible judge of feet. From there to there. So really not far at all. The problem is, okay, I'll be honest. I really don't quite understand how the combine works yet. Still working on that. Um, a slip clutch is going out or something. Things are stopping working for some reason. So we have a guy coming out, but it's after hours. So dad's gonna empty out into the grain cart one more time. Park the combine by the edge of the field. I don't know, call it quits for tonight? We'll see. Oh, there she goes. We decided to call it quits for this evening because, I don't know, things are not working right with the combine and uh, yeah. So we're just going to call it quits for today and hopefully everything gets on the right track tomorrow. So this is my one handful of stuff from the green cart. Whew. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Day one of bean harvest. Hopefully tomorrow goes better than today, right? We'll see you later.